Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Triple Studio channel. Today we are going to be making a basic flashlight system in Scratch. So uh, let's jump straight into it. But before we get started, I just want to say this is something that I struggled with quite a lot back when I was a new Scratcher, you could say, when I first started using Scratch. So first thing we want to do is delete our sprite because we don't actually need the cat. So let's go to backdrops and let's choose a backdrop or you could import a backdrop or paint a new backdrop. It doesn't actually matter. Now I'm just going to pick the one for us. You can pick whatever one you want. It does not matter. If you've already got one, use that one. Great. Even better. But now we're going to be using just this one. But let's now paint our own sprite. So what we want to do is set the um, brightness down all the way to zero so we can get a nice black color and we want to select the pen tool make sure it is on a hundred and just absolutely go berserk holding down left click and just dragging it everywhere to get every single bit of coloring in uh, as possible so why we're doing this uh, we are doing this to fill in the invisible spots um, that inhabit the borders of our sprite. That should be good. Uh, I'm now going to rename this sprite into light. I'm going to shove it on zero zero, uh, make sure it's visible, and I'm now going to grab a rubber tool and make a nice hole in the middle, which would be an ideal color for, uh, which is ideal size and shape. Sorry. Uh, for like a flashlight beam, beaming from the flashlight, because uh, that is what we're trying to replicate. Uh, obviously, I know that's not brilliant. You know, that doesn't look like brilliant flashlight, but it's not meant to. Um, well, I mean, obviously yours can, because obviously it's your game. You want to make it perfection, do it. However, I'm just here to quickly show you how to make this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So now we're going to get into the coding. So the first thing we want to do is obviously go to events, when green flag clicked, scroll down to uh, the forever. Uh, and then we want to go to uh, motion and we want to uh, go, go to, grab the go to random position block, drag that and put it inside the forever loop. Uh, because if you don't do that, otherwise this won't work properly. So what we want to do is click on random position and click mouse pointer and then the next thing we want to do before we give it a test is go to looks, uh, go to uh, set color effect to zero, drag that on top, click color, click ghost and instead of the zero switch it to whatever you want. Uh, it could be 90, uh, it could be anything you want. Uh, I recommend my favorite is either 10 or 5 or 5 to 10 uh, anything in that range so anything including 5 6 7 8 9 and including 10 that is perfection that is what I prefer and that's what I suggest so once we've done this we want to give it a test and as you can see there is a line there but however that is something we can fix but other than that ignoring the line this is exactly what we wanted it works perfectly fine as long as you've done everything. Uh, it looks absolutely magnificent. So the way to fix this line, if you also have the line, if you've done the same thing as me and just gone over with the black pen, just spammed it everywhere. This line here just means you've missed a bit. So don't worry about it. Let's stop it, go down to costumes and let's try guess where it is. So using a black thing, we're gonna just highlight down here uh, and as you can see, I've got it now because I'm just going to keep doing it just in case because you can never be too sure. But other than that, I think that is good. All right, so now as you can see, we move it everywhere, everywhere else other than the middle, like the center, is blacked out. But you can still slightly see through it as the ghost effect is set to 5. I can show you what it looks like on 10. There we go. That's what it looks like on 10. Uh, you can actually see more of the uh, background there. But I do like if 
the fact that you know if we are i think 10 is probably more realistic however if we're playing a game I think five would do nicely there, so it gives that more of, a, of an element that we have to find the objective. Um, but that is basically it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys did find this helpful. I went a bit off track at the end to try and explain the objective side of things, code and objective to help you guys implement implement that into your game as well. But as I said, uh, the uh, sprite uh, obviously did it in a matter of seconds. If you want to take time with your game, take time with your game. There's no shame with doing that. It makes the game look better. It makes the game feel better. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did find this tutorial helpful. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like uh, uh, and subscribe um, because it helps us out and it tells us that you want more tutorials, not only on Scratch but on Unity, Python. Uh, anything really anything just let us know in the comments what you want to see and we'll we could try and make it happen uh, but thank you so much for watching this video uh, I will see you in the next one goodbye